Hello guys. Today's problem for lead code is minimum number of arrow to burst a balloon. So they will be given 2D array of point uh, x uh, starting point from x uh, x start and ending point. Okay, so they will be a balloon which start from uh, uh, start from zero till end. Okay, so always this should be lower and this should be higher. So we got this point from this. Denote a balloon whose horizontal diameter stretches between so between x star so whatever the number you start till end. You don't need to uh, know the exact y coordinate. Okay, so no need for y coordinate. Arrow can be sort up directly vertical. So directly vertical we can sort from different point of x axis. A uh, balloon with x array uh, and x, uh, x start and x end is busted by an arrow stood at x. If x start is less than or equal to x or less than or equal to x end, there is no limit to the number of arrow that can be sought. A short arrow keeps traveling with an infinite busting any balloon in the path. Okay, okay, so we are given here. So there is 10, 16, 2, 8, 1, 6, and 7, 2. So the author took like the solution took 6 and he busted 2, 8, and 1, 6. How you busted 2, uh, how you busted 2, 8? So it's middle of between between 2 and 6, it's middle. Like in this equation, they told if it is mid in between, so it will get busted. And here also it is an edge, so it will get busted. So here is equal. So if so it that's, that's the reason it will get bust so another point the uh, suitor took is 11 why he took 11 so it is between 10 and 16 and it's between 7 and 12 so 11 is an ideal uh, ideal point to suit an arrow so how we can solve this so first approach is to sort the array how to sort the array so like see we will sort the array using lambda function arrays dot sort so I, I'm telling you why I took sort uh, we will sort the array points comma so how should I sort it uh, I should sort it in lambda function so point one comma point two point one comma point two arrow function so here integer we have to compare if it is more integer dot compare we understood the problem what i am doing here i have to approach it huh compare p of one of p of uh, uh what if we have to compare we have to compare the first element of every element so now we have to compare the last element what is the last element of this array so compare one and comma p comma two to compare one so what does this does here so here these are given array 10 16 2 8 1 6 and 7 2 in the 2d array the 10 10 16 is there 2 8 is there uh, 160, uh, 160 and 712 is that. So what I did here, this is pen right here. What I did here, I used array sorts. I used points p1 and p2, and I used this lambda function here. After comparing uh, here, it sorted in in uh, ascending order. So wait, but it started from uh, like six is uh, lower than eight. It and to well n16 without even uh, considering this i used the lambda function to compare only this element this element i compare only this element so it got sorted into the this range it got sorted this so the results are this much so 1 6 2 8 7 2 and 10 16 so i how i'm approaching this solution i will take uh, I will take 6 as a main point. 
I will take six as a main point. It will shoot the arrow. It it will shoot this arrow. It will also shoot this arrow. But it can't shoot this arrow. So I have to use another arrow here. I will take this arrow as twelve. I will take this arrow axis as twelve. So this also will get sorted, and this also will get sorted. So what I am doing here, I will take a first element. First element is six. So so I have to take I have to take the how much arrow should be sorted, how much arrow should be shoot. So first arrow should always shoot, and I have to take the x x point has. I have to take x point has. uh first element point zero comma the maximum element is 1 the ending point we have to take call this then i have to iterate to every solution for i equal to 1 i less than points i plus plus So I took lemon here. So I have to iterate to everyone. So I have to see if so what I what I what I see here if this element is less than uh, is is more than this element, then it will be sorted. So I have to check if my x axis is less than points of i. comma zero so if that is the case i will have to shoot another arrow so arrow plus plus after that the x axis will we ha will have a new value uh, which i took here the new value is 12 so x axis will be the x axis will be points The maximum element will take so i comma one, and after finishing this loop, we have to return how much arrow is has been sorted. So let's see. Yes, it's running in all the test case. So let's submit and see. Yeah, it got submitted. So if you have any doubt regarding this solution, please message me, please comment me, and I will reply to it. And if you like this video, please uh, do like it and do subscribe to my channel. It will be great help. Thank you.